it's very, very hard to describe um, it unless you've been there yourself. But it's just um, totally depressed, no motivation, you know what I mean? Not the will to even get out of bed in the morning. It's, uh, and it's very, very hard for someone like myself, who was a very, very proud man, won world titles and beat this guy and beat that guy, to sort of like, you know, you're there and you need help, you know you need help, but you don't want to tell anyone, you know, like you're in bed crying every day. It's very hard for a professional boxer to tell someone he's in bed, he's crying all day, he's having days of silence when he's just sat on his own. It's, uh, it's very, very hard and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy and it's good that it's mental health has come to the forefront a little bit more in the last few years. I think I always had it in the early days at, at first really. I was always, when I started getting successful and doing well for myself, I started getting paranoid that people thought I was too big for me boots or too cocky or, you know, I had a swagger and, you know, you know, every time I, I got paranoid from a very early age, so people were looking at me going, look at that big time there. And I, I was, I've never been anything but that, you know, and uh, so I think I always had it from day one. And then when I got beat by Mayweather, when I felt like all oh, the fans had come to Vegas, I really did felt that I'd lot got to, I really did feel like I've let them down, you know. So um, and that was the start of it then, and then I had a little bit of a yo-yo effect in my life. You know, Mayweather got beat by, then I beat Lascano, then I beat Malinaji, then I got beat by Pacquiao, then I fell out with Billy Graham, and I fell out with my dad. So my mind was yo-yoing, and uh, eventually when I got beat by Pacquiao, and I knew I had to retire, that was uh, the beginning and the end for me. I didn't care whether I lived or died. Well, you know, I, my little baby girl came along and I held her in my arms and I thought, it's not about you anymore, you know what I mean? You know, when I was, when the, before the kids come along, it was just Ricky Hatton and I didn't care, you know, but now I had, to, I had someone else to live for, in, as in my kids. Um, then it became more that I had to do something about it. And I thought, uh, thought to myself, you know, listen, you know, you, you know, this is something you thought you could do on your own, you can't do on your own, so you've got to go and see someone. And I did go and see someone and it was the best move I ever did, it saved me life.